Well, hello everyone. Here you show you right here is this uh, your illustration uh, painting right here. I talk about for the NASA space shuttle launch right here, and I think that you know this right here took place at you know last year, you know back uh, in the spring of last year. We have right here for 2020, but I thought I'd go ahead and show everybody here the details right here that uh, this right here would uh, you know show right here is this uh, illustration drawing right here that I show right here is that the details right here of the, the launch of pan lawn with the, the rocket and then also the shuttle right here and uh so it's like uh, you know, yeah if you're going to be uh, uh you know, seeing any catalogs of anything such as you know space launch and a lot of times that uh you know anybody say is that you know yeah that um you go ahead and and look at the shuttle right there but then also uh, the look of from you know space right there so a lot of times it's like uh you know, kids might even say that uh, that a lot of things that you you try to understand about any sorts of painting, right? And one of those is, like I say, yeah, whenever you look up at the sky, a lot of times, do you necessarily see space, you know, right there? But you know, until you, at least until you get further up, and then you start seeing the stars, and uh, you know, you start seeing other planets and all, but still, that, um, but you have right here is this, I talk about the space shuttle launch right here. And uh, so it's like, yeah, whenever you... Look at, um, you know, whenever I was painting this right here, I was actually shown right here of uh, the space shuttle right here, along with the, the rocket fuel details right here. And you can see just a little bit about, you know, to where how to be able to blend a little bit of the color right here with the yellow. And then along with the white right here, just to be able to show uh, the the details right there, the, you know, the space shuttle launch right there. But I decided to go ahead and just work on this mainly because it you know they were talking about that about the sp the space shuttle launch right there but then also is that kind of give us an idea about the, just a little bit of the sky right there because the sky right there that you can see that um that uh, you know yeah that you know, you look up there and you see a blue sky right there but it's like uh, you know yeah that uh whenever it comes to space shuttle launch though that uh, what you usually see like oh yeah you see a space shuttle going up into the sky and it goes up into uh yeah it goes up into space right and uh so it's like uh, if you're going to be uh, looking at this it's like at this right here is supposed to be like a magazine cover of some sort and uh, like i think it was toward a yeah you know a lot of things that maybe if you can try hard to tell on and also to try to recognize about okay if that's supposed to be a space shuttle right there a launch or a site or something like that or anything else that kind of approaches your attention right but still that uh, that that we can see this right here that uh, talking about with that the launch pad right here so this right here would be like you know black and white and like it just like a a little uh, draft of uh, what the, the shuttle would look like before any color is added and all that and uh, so it's like yeah you know if you would actually look at that and then actually look at the like the color version right there and like I say, the, uh, yeah, that right there looks like a, a space shuttle right there. And uh, so it's like, yeah, you just kind of draw out the details right there, the space shuttle and a 102. That the, What does it usually mean whenever the space shuttle goes up into space a lot of times? And <laughs> like I say, the, yeah, if you just try to read up more about that, to where the, yeah, that that's another way of how uh, those astronauts and astronomers that uh, go up into the National Space Association and uh, a lot of times it's like, yeah, like I talk about for the space launch. And um, so if you're going to go ahead and draw the details about, you know, the space launch right there. And uh, so like I say, is that, you know, whenever I was working on this right here, I actually thought that, the, you know, people would say, I'm like, oh, yeah, if you would like to see uh, the different colors and stuff I did, talk about for the space shuttle launch right here. And uh, so it's like, yeah, that uh, you know for sure that... Uh, Somebody's going to say, I'm like, yeah, if you see this right here, and somebody's going to say that, hey, you got 2020 March right there, but it sure seems that way, that um, whenever you're looking at the details of the space shuttle right here, and you're likely thinking this to where that by what angle, you know, I'm like, yeah, well, you know, you know that, that that right there is not an actual photograph right there, that's actually like an actual, an illustration drawing just to illustrate about you know, the, the details about you, know, about when the, the launch day and from whenever that those astronauts went up there in the space and all that. But it sure seems that way that um, when we think about illustrations and any source of, uh, you know, image uh, 
you know, like uh, you know, any mixed media or some sort that uh, you're probably thinking is that, uh, that, yeah, that, you know, whenever you put together anything uh, such as an illustration right here, what you really are doing is like, yeah, you know, if you want to go ahead and, and paint the details right there of the space shuttle right there, right? But at the same time, it sure seems that way to where the yacht, like, uh, you know, you make it as artistic as you can. Like, and another thing that I want to talk about right here also is that, you know, yeah, that um, whenever, if you're going to be ordering any source of, um, I'm like, if you're going to be ordering any source of magazines or anything like that, any source of, um, of uh, uh, colors, I'm like, oh, yeah, anything that you're going to be ordering, what does it usually mean whenever you do finally, you know, finally realize, I'm like, yeah, anything that you're going to be uh, Ordering, I'm like, yeah, anything that you're going to be ordering from a catalog or anything that you're going to be ordering from any source of music store or some kind like that. And you want to know, too, that what does that usually mean whenever you finally, uh, by the time you do uh, get what you want, and then like, and then there's going to be like these uh, catalogs and advertisements or something like that displayed right there. So a lot of times it sure seems that way that um, whenever you're going to be shopping around for anything in particular, that that. Uh, a lot of people probably say too that most of the time that if you're going to be looking around at any source of magazines, what exactly is it that you want to read about? Or what exactly is it that, that you want to look up? You know, look at and all that. But still, but a lot of times though that when we're talking about the NASA, the space shuttle launch though, that uh, you're going to have a tour that, um, that yeah, you know, uh, you look at the some of the details right there and then, uh, it sure seems that way that, yeah, you know, space exploration and also the Mars rover rover or something like that. And um, and so that's why it sure seems that way that uh, when we understand about space launch and all that, that um, I go ahead and paint the details right there, the sky right there. And we're probably thinking as to where the, yeah, you, whenever you look up at the, at the sky, right, you don't really see stars right away, especially during the day that uh, you don't see stars, but uh, still, that, uh, and like I say, is to where that whenever you do uh, look at any source of painting, though, that uh, you're probably thinking is that, you know, yeah, you know, uh, what exactly does all that mean right there? <laughs> but anyway, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good day.